Okay, I've uh, replaced this globe there, which was the only thing that I could find was wrong with this uh, board, plus cleaning of course. So I'll put it back in the uh, front panel now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the first stage of it uh, getting back together. Next one I think is this one, then this one I think would be next. Which ones? This particular panel that goes in there, it has uh, six screws and they have a, a little tiny spacer to take relief off the plastic but one of them is missing uh, but that's the way it was so I'll just have to be careful not to over tighten that particular one which I've decided I'll make it that one there this one here also has a spacer, but it also has a flat washer and a spring washer with it, which is uh, weird, like, like here. But anyway, just put it back the way it came. That's the, that's the aim. I think one of the buttons isn't coming through. Oh, shit, yes, right. oh, maybe that was the one that doesn't have the spacer. Ah, oh, that could be it. Okay. Oh, I think it is. Oh, it is too. Oh, well, that explains it. One of them didn't have a spacer. That's the one. So it never had one. Oh, well, that, that's good. Oh. oh, why they had to do that, I don't know. Well, anyway, at least it makes sense now. It was a slot, and uh, only big enough for the screw, not for the spacer as well. Oh. <laughs> Once again, centralise the buttons as much as possible. Ah. They're not going in. Now why is that? Ah, I know why. Of course, they're meant to be pushed in. <laughs> right, they're all flush, but the, the normal situation is they're actually a little bit proud. Okay, all right, so all right, we've got this one in, so the next one I think is uh this one here now, yeah, how does this work Right, it goes here, which means taking off a few screws.
Trick is the lining all these lamps with the, the holes. <laughs> it's too hard to do like that. I think I'll unfortunately take this off. Yes, I can get to these screws through the board. So, now yeah, let's try it. Oh. So much easier. That went on quite nicely. Uh, oh, then again, it has to go much further. Oh dear, <laughs> it has to go over the the sleeving on the uh, lamps, not just the lamps. Oh dear, every single one of them is stopping. Oh, don't know if you can see, but. The lamps have this little bit of sleeving for each of them. But according to this, they're meant to go down the holes as well as the lamp, but they're all getting stuck. All of them, not just a couple, but all of them, which means how the hell do you get them all to go down the holes at the same time. What a stupid idea. How the hell did they do it in the factory? I'll bet someone spent a frustrating life doing this. I reckon they would have soldered these afterwards, not before. Oh. Oh my God, this is, this is virtually impossible. How the hell are you meant to do it? Now I've got all the globes in, but as I say, the heat shrink is, or the sleeving is stopping the, the leads to go in. Yeah, what one end, well, I was actually uh, quite stymied as to how I would uh, push these little lamps up into the holes because the the sleeving was uh, getting stuck on the uh, on the the holes. But it actually <laughs> did manage to work. What you do is you just sort of shake it, keep pressure on, and just keep shaking it around and gradually they just work their way doesn't happen straight away but gradually they just work their way so thank goodness thank goodness <laughs> oh. so that's the trick you just uh, have to shake them until they just like that and they wriggle their way in eventually oh thank goodness for that now I can put it in the back in the uh, front display panel got to screw this in first make sure I don't drop it out <laughs> don't want to have to do that again
this is uh, now the next one to go back on the last little green light for the NR and EQ set or whatever it is it's a little bit brighter than the others but I don't think I'll worry about that okay now For some reason this one here has a, a washer on it not quite sure why but we'll keep it there tighten down this panel it was only on loose all the lamps down the holes okay there we go right screw that back on well apart from the fluorescent display the last uh, next or the penultimate panel to put in is the slider panel and this one has a washer and I can see why because there's a couple of tracks right next to it so they've got a fiber washer to insulate so mustn't forget to do that that one there needs a It's uh, stripped. <laughs> All those buttons are working quite well. Great, that's good. It's looking good. Looking good. Looking good, Elroy. So, the next one is the fader audio input. This is uh, meant to go here, but much further in so what I've done is I've uh, in my haste I've I've put in these two before I should before I uh, should have <laughs> so I need to undo these these two I was keen to uh, get it back together still am but anyway now it's it's about to be all back together which is good Okay, 
Yeah, so the white thing just sits there until you screw this in and then you screw it in. And and this bracket of the faders is screwed onto the white thing as well as the frame around as well as the, the base of the of the front panel. It sort of makes sense when you when you actually do it. I just initially do them loose until I'm happy that it's all in place. It's all sitting there nicely now, so we'll screw him up. <laughs> Hard to believe, but front panel is uh, is all is all fixed and cleaned and ready to uh, go back in just one last thing to do or two last things to do is to check the buttons make sure they work Sliders work. Yeah. That one's a little bit stiff. It's central though, it's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, maybe the felts are just a little bit too close to each other, but no, that's all right. Uh, oh, now the really last thing to do is to put these knobs back on. Woohoo! That's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. Well, there you go. Front panel's all ready to go. <sighs> Wonderful. It's nice to have a milestone and uh, having that all back together is uh, is definitely a milestone so there was uh, basically the only thing wrong with it was uh, a lot of cleaning was required I I changed most of the electrolytics on the uh, fader board uh, not that it really needed it but I did them anyway uh, but the only actual faults were that uh, one of the leafs on the headphone jack had come adrift. That was easy to uh, uh, 
reset it and a lamp on this board and a lamp on this board had uh, gone so I had to replace two lamps they were the only two genuine faults on this uh, front but it all had to uh, be pulled apart anyway it's taken quite a while but had to be done no, no choice so anyway we can get to the heart of the uh, machine now and uh, I look forward to putting all this back in place.